What's up, everybody? Welcome to Speak for Yourself. Next! A safe space for millennial sports fans like myself. Here, we give our most fearless responses to Jason and Marcellus' takes. I'm your favorite social media manager, Darnell Smith. Y'all know who I'm with. I ain't even got to introduce him. I'm going to do it anyway. Your favorite co-host, <laughs> HBCU legend, Shay La. Shay Nicolandro, what's going on? What's up? I got my Howard gear on today, oh, if you couldn't I see it. see that. Just, you know. I guess you repping today, huh? <laughs> yeah, trying my best. And y'all know I can't forget about the Baylor two-time All-American, Miss Nina Nene, Nina Davis. What's going on? What's up? I'm How feel, you doing? I'm feel, it's Monday. I got, is it Monday? It's Tuesday. <laughs> Look, it's like, that, that's how I'm doing. That's how you feel like. <laughs> I thought it was Monday, man. But, hey, it's, we got a good one for y'all, man. Guys chopped it up yesterday. We know Lamar Jackson been balling out all season, and it didn't stop on Sunday. Had a perfect QB rating of 158.3 against the Bengals, and that led to the discussion if Lamar Jackson has passed up Russell Wilson in the MVP race. Check this out. Y'all are doing a disservice to Deshaun Watson if you don't think he's equal in talent. And again, hold on, now. hold on. Oh. Equal, he's a better passer. And running, oh, he's, he's, running. Running. No, no. he's a better just... passer. Yeah. He's a better runner. But there is equality among these two. Ooh wee! Hey, that's a lot right there. With like, that's a lot. Now hold on. Before we get going. Granted, this conversation happened before yesterday's Monday Night Football game. We know Russell Wilson led the team to win, so keep that in mind. But I'm going to toss it to you, Nina. How do you feel? I mean, break down with what I just said. Deshaun Watson, same level as Lamar. Are you with that? Sort of. Sort of. Explain. Sort of. Okay, so they both <laughs> are great quarterbacks. Okay. Granted, they both play two different styles, so you have to take that into consideration. Obviously, Deshaun Watson is a better in-pocket quarterback. He has a higher passing percentage than him right now. But when we look at the running side, Lamar Jackson is dominating him in rushing yards right now. And so it kind of comes down to what type of quarterback do you want? You know, they always want to say that quarterback's supposed to stay in the pocket. You don't supposed to run. But in my opinion, I love a diverse quarterback. Right. So if you give me somebody like, like Lamar Jackson that can pass in the pocket but can also run, give me a spin move, give me some ooh-wee, then, hey, some I'm ooh-wee. some ooh-wee. He looked like me out there on the court <laughs> with that spin move. So I'm like, hey, I'm going to go with Lamar Jackson. So I think they're both great quarterbacks. But – as far as just – it just comes down to really what you want. Right, right, right. What you thinking, Shay? Um, I would have to agree. I mean, I think they're definitely sta- in the same caliber of quarterback. Yes, they're different. Um, but I think Lamar is basically, like we said a couple episodes ago, like Mike Vick, second after, just a different realm of a quarterback right. um, and not what you're used to seeing, whereas Deshaun Watson is, like, killing it and what we're used to seeing. So they're definitely in the same caliber of quarterback. They're both really great. They're probably the be- of the best young quarterbacks in the league right now. Um, so I think that statement was – perfectly accurate yeah I, I would say i agree with that particular statement that we like was saying that as overall quarterback status deshaun and lamar are in the same class but he also was saying that they're in the same class in terms of running <laughs> now that's where my, my wit like that's where you trip that's where you lost me at man listen he lost Desha- all of he us. lost all yeah, of deshaun watson is fast don't get me wrong he can run he definitely can make plays with his feet but Lamar is fast, fast. Like yeah. it's what Meek Mill say. It's level to this <laughs> yeah. young boy. Like Lamar is on a whole nother atmosphere when it when it comes to running. And Deshaun is good, but I, I, I can't put him on the same the same conversation. No, not when it comes to running. And then he tried to use the injury, saying that if he didn't get hurt, that he would be able to have the same amount of rushing yards and. That's not true. That's like if you hurt your knee right now, you still wouldn't be as fast as me. So um, it's the same thing. Why she playing me, Shane? <laughs> she got to. Why she but playing? <laughs> <laughs> I think the same thing. You can't tell what he would have done. It's like woulda, coulda, shoulda. Right. He we got hurt, so we'll never know. Yeah, like exactly. Lamar is definitely in a different, different level, different lane in than Deshaun running. That's fact. Although That's America right. probably agrees with us on that one. Right. Yeah, I don't know what we're we'll talking about right, <laughs> right. there. No. <laughs> but listen, he ain't the only one who said something crazy yesterday. My man told. Gonzalez had a real interesting comparison with Russell Wilson and Lamar Jackson. Check this out. You still got to have the other tangibles that make you a good quarterback, when to slide, when to get out of bounds, when to throw the ball away, all that other sure. stuff that I think Russell Wilson is better at than Lamar Jackson. Absolutely. And I think that, but it's it, Vince, Vince Carter, the dunker, right? Yeah. Okay, he's a great dunker, great football player, but I'm not taking him over Kobe. Basketball. A, a basketball yeah, right, player, but yeah. I mean, you can look at him and go, just because he's doing all this 360 stuff mm. doesn't You would have took Vince he's Carter coming out. Tony G, Tony G. Listen, listen, listen. Now, I I understand the comparison. You know, obviously he's focused on the athleticism. We know Vince Carter was a freak athlete you know, in his prime. And basically just saying, look, 
you can't get lost in all the the fancy plays, the fancy runs, and and put that and, and use that to say he's better than Russell Wilson. But listen, listen, Tony G. If, if you're going if you go compare anybody to Kobe, Bean, Bryant, it better be goat to goat. It better be Brady to Kobe. It better be <laughs> MJ to Kobe. It got to be goat to goat. And listen, Russell Wilson, all respect to him, future Hall of Famer. He ain't, he, ain't, he, ain't in the, he ain't in that level. He ain't on that level right there, Tony G. A better comparison would have been Kawhi Leonard. You know, a guy who, like I said, probably future Hall of Famer, all-star, kind of boring to watch. But, you know, keeping it real, Russell was a little boring. But at the, at the end of the game, he wins and he gets the job done. So, I don't know. That's a good comparison. I didn't think about that. I was going to say, well, yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, I got me a little flustered because I was like, no, I mean, I get what he's saying. He's trying to compare him to the greatest at that time and right. somebody who was also great but just at different things. So I get the comparison with Tony G, but, I mean, wow, you, you should run that to him. Run he should have yeah, he, he should have went with that. You should have brought him on, on the next <laughs> today, boy. Right, but I will say Russell Wilson definitely is like a Kawhi Leonard. He yeah. gets the job done, but also like a Kobe Bryant. Like, he has that mentality of winning, opposed to, like, but Lamar Jackson also is a winner. That's what I'm like, saying. I, mean, <laughs> I, can't, I can't say that he's a Vince Carter, but also Vince Carter is a beast. And you said in his prime. That man is still playing. He is old. He's been playing since before I was thought of. And he's still playing at a, at a high level. So you can't you can't doubt Vince Carter either. What you thinking, Nina? I think I know where Tony was trying to come from. Right. You know, Kobe being the GOAT and all, that's probably just the first person that popped into his mind, which makes total sense to me. <laughs> but <laughs> check it out for sure. But, no, I think you first off just can't compare Russell Wilson right now. He's definitely the MVP, I feel. and Definitely. Definitely. Definitely MVP right now. At right. this moment, if the season ended, that's my opinion. I would say that. Right, After mean, yesterday's game. I, I, I would just, put him up there. If it ended today, I, no, who, who, MVP? Going Lamar? who is your MVP? Lamar, you see the spin movie did on So Sunday? would you take Vince Carter over Kobe? Hold on, hold on. Oh, would you take Vince Carter over Kawhi? The that's what you say, the, right? The comparison is a little off. Look, Vince oh, Car- now Vince we <laughs> the, the, now the, we the Kawhi off. part was cool. The Vince Carter, I won't put Lamar on, on Vince Carter. I put Lamar like... Lamar. I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. I'm mean, let me think of some. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm Lamar Jackson MVP. Don't, don't get me confused. Oh wow. You want to make a bet? Confused. Any wagers? We can bet. What you want to bet? Anything. Would you rebuttal like a Lamar Jackson being like an Allen Iverson? There you oh, go. No, Lamar. no, no, Thank no. You. We are not going to disrespect Allen Iverson. That's like not that. disrespecting Allen Iverson, but he never like as far as like Russell Wilson has won some stuff already. You yes. know. Lamar Jackson, we're still waiting to see. He's changing. He's changing the game. But, like, we got to see what else he got, which is probably going against your MVP thing. I also kind of got out of the league, you know. Listen, listen, y'all, y'all, y'all clown. But hold on, real quick before before we leave, we gotta make sure y'all heard what Lavar said at the end of that segment. He said he would have took Vince Carter over Kobe Bryant during the draft. If he if they came out, he would have took Vince Carter over Kobe. What? Lavar, <laughs> that's that, what. I ain't, I don't know what to even say. Hey, what we call it? The dummy of the day? The dummy. <laughs> the dummy of the day. Big dummy, <laughs> the big dummy, big dummy, dummy of the day. day. No Going way. Going LeVar Arrington, man. Y'all, I'm sorry. You ain't, you ain't, you, I know yeah, you ain't feeling this show. We should have brought Uncle Jimmy in here for that. We should have brought him in, because you cannot, <laughs> no, there's no way I'm taking Vince Carter and building the team around him. That don't make no sense. That's like taking one of y'all over me on the basketball court. It, 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 it just don't make sense at all. You know what I mean? Yeah, so You're probably number today? three at this table uh, on the basketball court. Don't For sure it. number three. We're going to end the show right there because y'all, cause y'all, y'all, they tripping. Listen, hey, y'all, <laughs> make sure, hey, make sure you tune in to speak for yourself Monday through Friday on FS1 to support our guys, Will Like and Marcellus. Good hey, the reason we got next. And be sure to subscribe and follow us on YouTube to catch all new episodes. Let's go to the court right now. We can do that. I'm out. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Speak For Yourself or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.